estamos aqui para mais um episódio dessa incrível série com Stephen Meyer. No último episódio a gente falou sobre os significados da evolução. Bom, mas existem várias razões científicas para duvidar desse segundo significado da evolução, que seria a descendência comum universal. Você poderia responder essa questão para a gente? There are actually now sci very strong scientific reasons to doubt the second meaning of evolution known as universal common descent. Really no one doubts the first meaning that there is change over time that we can observe and that there has been change over time in the history of life. The question is are all organisms on planet Earth related by common ancestry? meaning have all organisms evolved from some common ancestor a long time ago in a continuous way. And what we're finding now in the fossil record suggests a very important reason to doubt that idea. And that is that the major groups of organisms, uh, especially those at what are called the higher taxonomic levels or categories, the phyla, the classes, the orders, the big groupings of organisms that depict Uh, distinct body plans and body designs. These groups of organisms occur in the fossil record or appear very abruptly. And there's a famous event in the history of life known as the Cambrian explosion, where the majority of the animal body plans first arise in a very narrow window of geologic time, and they do so very abruptly. And it turns out that there are many other such events in the history of life. The mammalian radiation, the first mammals, the angiosperm big bloom, the first Uh, flowering plants, um, the, uh, <clears throat> the appearance of the first birds and reptiles, sea reptiles in particular. So many events in the history of life uh, uh, display this feature of abrupt appearance. And that kind of discontinuity challenges the idea that there has been a continuous process of biological change that, that has allowed one, one form of life to morph into another, such that all forms of life can be traced continuously back to a common ancestor. Instead, it looks as though some major groups of organisms have appeared separately and abruptly in the history of life. Fantástico! Muito obrigado pela sua resposta. E se você gostou desse vídeo, não se esquece de compartilhar para o máximo de pessoas e deixar o seu like. Até o próximo episódio dessa incrível série.